first to face the heat in the MasterChef kitchen is 44-year-old flight operations controller Joe Summers from Dublin. Obviously in a home kitchen you can't master every technique as well as you would like, so I thought this would be a good um, sort of a springboard in, into the culinary world. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, good. What's your name? Joe. Welcome to MasterChef, Joe. You've got 45 minutes to cook, and then you've got 10 minutes to clean down, plate up, and then present the dish. Great. Okay? Good luck, Joe. Thank you very much. Joe is hoping that his dish of pan-fried sea bream, deep-fried calamari, and red and yellow escabeche will be strong enough to win him the first MasterChef apron of 2012. A white apron in his hand with the little MasterChef logo. That's what I want to see. And a smiley face, which rarely happens. So what are you hoping out of MasterChef? Oh, what are you hoping to get out of basically it? Basically validate myself as somebody who can cook. I mean, people come around all the time, you know, and you cook meals and what have you, and I mean, people aren't going to come to your house, eat your food, and then say, oh, you know, I didn't really like that or this, but I guess that's why you so guys are looking here. for the truth. <laughs> no. Can you handle the truth, Joe? Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs> something anyway, isn't he? It's just whether or not he's a home cook or whether or not he's the potential to be a master chef. As the clock continues to count down for Joe, the next hopeful prepares to enter the kitchen, 20-year-old law student Richie Crowley. It would mean the world to me to get one of those aprons. I mean, I'm kind of excited, but at the end of the day, I'm kind of nervous as well. I mean, you know, I'm about to go through the door now. This is it, and this is my one shot. What are you going to be cooking for us today? I'm cooking a chocolate mousse served with a lemon shortbread, a creme anglaise, and a raspberry coulis. Sounds delicious. Yes, <laughs> hopefully, anyway. Richie's dessert relies on precision timing and will require all his concentration and focus. There's seven kids, and yeah, he'd cook for us all like um, a few times a week. You know, he started when he was like nine cooking lasagnas, and then he, as he grew older, he progressed and started cooking more difficult things. He seems he works well under pressure, I find, yeah, so he's, he's quite controlled in the kitchen. Do you cook a lot, Richie? I do, yeah. Um, I've, since from a young age, I've been, I love cooking. Yeah, I love cooking. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from, Richie? Um, I, I get my inspiration from... All right, you look a bit under pressure. Are you OK? No. No. We'll leave you to it then, Richie, will we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Richie. OK, Joe. You've got 10 minutes to clean down and then present your dish. Joe has prepared pan-fried sea bream on a bed of red and yellow pepper escabeche topped with deep-fried calamari accompanied by black olive tapenade and aioli. What you've done today is, is take some really classical Mediterranean flavors, all married well together. The fish is cooked, crispy skin, which was something we were looking for. It's a relatively, in my opinion, safe dish, but it is a well-executed dish. All of the flavors are there. I'm very happy with it. For me, it's a yes. What I like about it is that everything tastes how it should do, and I think you worked really well, and I also would give it a yes. Thank you very much. All right, yeah. well done. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome. That was thank good. You. Thanks, yeah. Good try. There you go. First round. You're in. Oh, my God, it's 
suits you, White. I knew it would suit you. <laughs> you know, you don't get that every day, and you certainly don't get those caliber of guys to say, yeah, this is a good plate of food. And uh, based on that, you know, now I know that this is what I should be doing. As Richie's time draws to a close, has he succeeded in beating the clock? OK, Richie, if you're finished, bring up your dish, sir. Richie has cooked a chocolate mousse served with a lemon shortbread biscuit, creme anglaise and a raspberry coulis. I do like your biscuit. Creme anglaise is very nice. Your coulis could be improved. Um, it is a good attempt, but whether it's enough yeah. for MasterChef, um, it's not, I'm afraid, but you know, you've done your best, so, yeah. but it's still a no. This one. Okay? Yeah, thank you. I think, I think it's very clear what happened today. The nerves really got the better of you. I don't think that um, what you've chose today was suitable, just in terms of its time frame, getting it set on time so that the presentation exactly. is as clean as it should be. So on the basis of that, it's a no. Yeah. Okay, Richie? Perfect. Thank you very much. Sorry about that, mate. No problem. Thank nice you. Nice try. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers, Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> It went terrible. I found it very overwhelming knowing that Dylan and Nick will be eating the foods and they're watching what you're doing. Very tough. <laughs> <laughs>